In his 2009 book, Red and Me, my coach, my lifelong friend, Russell shared his side of the debate on who's the GOAT of coaching. During that time, Phil Jackson and Red Arback were on the top of the ladder with nine title rings apiece. There was this anticipation if Jackson could win one more to surpass the Celtics legend to become the all-time leader. In his memoir, he had an interesting argument as to why Arback is better than Jackson. Some people have asked me, what's the difference between Phil Jackson winning nine championships and Red Arback winning nine championships? Trying to put my bias aside, I think Red's achievement is superior because he got the same team to listen to him for 10 straight years. And not just win a lot of games, but 8 consecutive championships. What does a coach say to a player 10 years into their relationship that he hasn't heard a hundred times? It is indeed an interesting argument. Looking into Russell's statement, he raises a critical nuance in coaching. While there is an inherent difficulty guiding a team with fresh faces every tenure, there are also many complexities in coaching a team that has not undergone a significant tweak in over a decade. 